Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of the EMU Football YouTube Series. Now, this is more of an introductory video. It's not like me getting right into the series, playing games, things like that. So, we are going to be giving EMU the death penalty. So, essentially, I am treating it as my current coach, Donald McRonald... Recruited some players, you know, quarterback Chad Lawson that you saw. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a strong safety and a cornerback that also were illegally recruited, like bribed. Uh, they were given money by boosters, stuff like that, which you can't do in college football. If you do that and the NCAA finds out, you are going to be in trouble, whether it just be losing scholarships or just having to be you know, paying money for a fine, or both. In this case, it is going to be the most severe penalty you can get in football, or really any college sport, the death penalty. So what this video is going to be is I'm going to be showing you how to do that if you want to try this out for yourself. You don't have to do everything in this video that I am doing. There are some things that I'm doing as just an added um, twist to it to make it slightly more difficult than it's already going to be because you know what sometimes getting shit on team shit on by teams because your team is awful sometimes just isn't enough pain so I have to make this hurt more so what we're going to be doing is we are gonna be ha have to take all of our current non-freshman players and convert them to punter now, you could take all of your players, including the incoming freshmen, if you choose to. Again, it's all optional. You don't have to do it this way. If you want to make it much more challenging on yourself, then you would cut every single player. Now, I'm keeping the freshmen because realis realistically, you're getting a new coach. And if you get a new coach, he's going to be getting some players in the offseason Depending on when you hire that coach, obviously if it's an interim coach, you might cut everybody, you know, gut your whole team. I wanted to keep some players because I didn't want to have all, you know, super lousy bag of bones players come in. I wanted to have some actual realistic, semi-solid talent. Some of that talent is actually pretty good. So I'm going to be going through... Again, changing all of my players to punter. Now, this takes quite a while. I mean, it, it took me over nine minutes to do this. So, I'm not going to be showing the entire, you know, player switches to punter. You could pick kicker. You could pick fullback. I picked punter because it was the closest one for the earlier positions. And once you start with a position, you're going to want to make sure that you put all of those players at that same position because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to cut all of your players and make sure that the walk-ons get added into the correct corresponding positions. Because if you accidentally mess that up, you might not have a walk-on in a position or something like that. Which certainly would, I mean, it'd actually make it more challenging, but certainly a slight problem because once you get to cut players, it actually would not let you cut some of the players potentially so we're just going to be moving everybody now what you're also going to need to do is you are going to need to make sure you get all of your players as i mentioned now it's not too bad you could pick fullback but some offenses like pro offenses require two fullbacks so i would i would take kicker or punter either one um, kicker is going to be like one position over, so not a big difference in terms of how long it's going to take. You just got to make sure that you get them all to kicker. Punter is just much easier to do. So, I didn't want to show this entire process because, like I said, it took quite a while. So, I'm just going to kind of just be jumping ahead into the final look once it's done. And we're going to take a look and I'm going to show you what it's kind of going to look like. All right, so we have everybody moved over to punter. Um, I am going to kind of show you the current freshman that we have just to show you that there's no other players that can you know, gain something from training. So we 
do have some positions that are going to be starting walk-ons automatically just because you only get 25 scholarships. The likelihood that you're actually going to get enough starters for every position on your team is virtually almost impossible. I mean, you would have to theoretically plan for the entire thing, specifically recruit exactly for what you want, and that is very difficult to do. I mean, hey, if you, I mean, if you can do it, more power to you. I commend you if you can. I don't have the patience for it. So I'm just like, you know what? Whatever. We're just going to go with what we have because this is going to be awful anyway, and we're going to get wrecked by so many teams. So now we are at cut players. Now, you are going to have a massive overhaul in roster size. 70 is, is the allotted amount. We have 103. Now, what you're going to need to do is just simply go to punter, cut down to at least 70. I'm just going to cut all of the players because if you don't cut them, it's not an issue, but you might have guys that are good at a position and it might, you know, either tempt you to play them because they're good and you deep down on the inside don't want to suffer and suck like I'm probably going to be doing this entire season. But also, some of those players might have relatively decent overall, even if they don't have the awareness for some of those positions. It still could maybe mess up your depth chart a little bit, so I would definitely cut all of them. Now, it does take quite a bit to cut everybody. It does not take as long to cut all of your players as it does to switch to the positions. I mean, I kept this entire footage of all the cuts actually in here, and it actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it still takes a bit because we had to cut 103 down to, I think we had like around 50. So basically, we cut just over half of our actual roster. And yeah, it's crazy because realistically you're not gonna cut this many players and normally too colleges actually have a lot more than an allotted 70 man roster i think usually i think it's in like the 80s like 85 or something like that so really the fact that smu with more allotted players still couldn't even form an entire team it just says just how brutal a penalty like this in real life actually can be now obviously i'm gonna have a full team because i do because it's a video game and the game physically will not let you not have players at specific positions as long as you do the process correctly which as long as you're following what i'm doing in this video and kind of follow what i'm saying and telling what i'm telling you to do it's easy you, you pretty much can't go wrong Unless you're me and accidentally forget to cut one of your redshirt freshman linebackers that I forgot to cut the first time, so I had to do it again. But this is why we save before these things to make sure that we actually do it right. So we're going to end up with a total of 49 players, 21 less than the actual max amount of players allotted. Now, the only thing that's going to do is it is going to be hurting like our, our depth. We are not going to have a lot of depth. So, if I put sub-players higher than normal, we're going to struggle, and we're probably going to struggle anyway. We might even have some players playing both sides of the ball, just because we don't have that many players. So, it's going to be an interesting year. Um, now, obviously, my current head coach, Donald McRonald, will be fired, because if you're a head coach and you actually did something like this, not only would you be fired, you would probably have zero chance of even getting another job elsewhere because nobody would realistically trust you as a coach that you're not going to make the same mistake again, especially if you are a really douchey person and have no remorse, which isn't likely because it's a video game. So that is pretty much the only main thing you need to do. As you can see, our entire roster is all set. However, I am going to be adding one more stipulation. So, if you followed the SMU death penalty, if you have looked it up, they were not allowed to play a single game at home the first season they were eligible with a full team. That being said, we are going to be having to suffer the same fate. Now, 
Normally, if you're in an actual conference like the Mac, Mountain West, Big Ten, conferences like that, you cannot play all road games because your conference games are locked as home games. So, luckily, there is an independence conference. Now, in the independence, you do not have any conference games. You could play all of your games at home if you wanted to, like, get your stadium win streak to skyrocket twice as fast as normal. Since most teams play about seven or six home games and you play 12, you're actually going to do really good. So, we're going to be swapping with UMass. Now, UMass is normally in the MAC. I always switch them to the Independents because it always bugs me that the MAC has 13 teams. And odd-numbered teams in a conference with divisions just, just doesn't sit well with me. Now, if you have just nine teams, sure, yeah, you're not in divisions. You're going to get eight games. That's pretty solid. I can usually accept that like any time a conference has that. If I don't want divisions, I'm fine with that. But in this case, no, 13 teams is just... It's just weird. Who wants 13 teams in a conference? So, I always change it. So that's the only thing that we really need to do. So we're going to go into the preseason. And I am going to do a quick save here. Now, I am going to be going back. I'm going to be doing recruiting. But all I'm trying to do is just show how this process works. Because I'm not worried about doing the recruiting just for this. I'm going to go back and do that in a different episode, which will likely air probably next week, maybe later in the week. I haven't quite decided. So I'm just going to be advancing into the regular season, and we're going to see just how god-awful this team is. Honestly, this is probably going to terrify me to no end just seeing how awful our team is. I'm not going to do a huge in-depth on like how good or how bad the team is, since this is more just an introductory video. Next video, when we do the recruiting, I'm going to go much more in-depth to you know who our players are, what they suck in, which will be a lot of stats, how useless they are, and stuff like that. I really don't know how many times I'm going to be kicking field goals, because I don't expect our kicker to be that good. I mean, if he's a power, that's nice, but his accuracy is probably going to be just a heaping pile of doo-doo. So, at least we can punt. So, that's, I guess, a good thing. So, we're just going to let this advance here. Now, the advancing is going to take the same length of time, even if I did the recruiting. Because it's still going to have to do the whole filling the boards, setting the custom schedules, things like that. Now, I am going to be trying to lead off the season like at Michigan or at Ohio State or something like that because well I don't expect to win that many games but we'll see exactly what's available in the following episode hopefully sometime later this week as I mentioned so we are just about set to see how god awful our team is oh we found a gem but it's irrelevant because it's you know it's not like I'm saving this because I didn't get to set up the board so that is pretty much all I have to basically do. Once you're at this point, you know you can get into playing games, you can do your board, uh, all of that stuff. But before we finish up with this video, we're going to see what type of ratings we have in our team. We're probably going to be like D- minuses and everything because that's always going to happen. Oh, huh, would you look at that? D- minuses across the board, of course. 48 overall team. Oh dear God, we are going to do absolutely atrocious all season. Oh my God, I am not looking forward to this. Oh boy, the memes are almost ready. Anyway, that is pretty much all I have for this video. And again, like I said, if you want to do this, feel free. Till next time, have a great day everybody, and I will see you in the next video for recruiting and the beginning of the dreaded death penalty EMU football season. Goodbye, everybody.